Hey guys, LMB Productions here, and today I'll be reviewing the LEGO Ideas Research Institute. And this is a really cool set. As you can see on the front of the box, here we have the astronomer, paleontologist, and the chemist. And this is set number 21110, and it contains 165 pieces, along with the three female scientists. And the original name of this set was Female Minifigure Set, but I'm glad that they changed it to Research Institute. I like the name a lot better. And here's a look at the back of the box. And on the side of the box here we have the steps in which a set must go through in order to become an official LEGO set. So the first step is to share your idea on the LEGO Ideas website. The second step is to get to 10,000 supporters. And once you reach 10,000 supporters, LEGO will review your idea. And once they approve of it, your set will become an official LEGO product, just like this one. Alright, so let's open it up and take a look at the contents. Alright, so here is what is inside the box. We have the really nice instruction manual, along with three numbered bags. So in bag one, we have the chemist. In bag two, we have the paleontologist. And in bag three, we have the astrologer. So we'll start off by taking a look at the instruction manual. So here is the instruction manual. And as you can see, it's really nice and thick. It's not bent at all. And here's the back side. And if we flip open to the first page here, you can see we have some information about the set. And here is the designer of the set. And her name is Ellen, as you can see right there. And she is a geoscientist. And on the next page here, we have information about the paleontologist, as well as the astronomer. And we have some really detailed pictures here. And on the next page, we have info about the chemist. So I really like how they included information about each profession. And then this is all the same stuff, it's just in different languages. And here are the actual instructions. So let us now take a look at the Research Institute itself. So here is the completed Research Institute. And I'm really happy with the way this set turned out. And they do give you an orange brick separator, so that's really nice. So we'll start off with the astronomer. Okay, so here is the astronomy portion of the set, and as you can see we have our astronomer there. And I really like the parts that were used to make this telescope. And it can actually come off, as you can see it's attached by that one by one blue plate so it doesn't move around anywhere. And here's a better look at it. Really cool design. And this can just sit back on there. And I really like the checkered four. We have the white and dark bluish gray pattern going on. And that's what you would use the brick separator for. Sometimes those tiles can be tricky. And we do get a really nice map of the constellations, as you can see right there. So that's a really nice piece they included. That is a four by four black tile. And we can even have our astronomer look through the telescope as you can see right there so I think that's a really good look okay next up we have my favorite part of the set and this is the paleontologist display and as you can see we have a really nice dinosaur skeleton here so I'll just give you guys a quick 360 view and I really like the building techniques that were used for this and we have a really nice detailed vertebrae there and that is built out of modified plates and studs and we even have a movable head and the mouth moves up and down as well and it even looks like we have teeth in there so I really like how they designed that and we do have the nice little forearms in front there and you don't have to worry about this dinosaur falling or moving at all because as you can see it's locked into these clips as well as this bar right here so it's very sturdy and here's a better look at the tail I really like that piece and as you can see, our paleontologist has a magnifying glass there so that she can get a closer look at the individual parts of the skeleton. And we even get a nice little microscope, as you can see right over here. And we do have a little bone on it. However, it is a little high for the minifigure, so I'm thinking that she would have to stand on a stool to fully look into it. But it's still a really nice piece. And the last but not least, we have the chemist. And as you can see, she's holding a bright green beaker and what appears to be a Bunsen burner. 
and here is the display so as you can see we have another beaker which is holding a purple liquid and we've got some vials and bottles up here and in this cabinet we have two transparent coffee mugs but I don't think she's drinking coffee those might be measuring cups and in the drawer here we have two of these syringes so that's a pretty cool piece and they actually give you an extra one as you can see right here so you do get three in total and there's really nothing going on in the back here and just like the telescope this piece can be removed as you can see right there and you can move this around so here's a better look at all three minifigures so as you can see the astronomer and paleontologist have pretty basic torsos whereas the chemist has an exclusive torso so at the time of this video you can only find that piece in this set whereas the other two torsos are pretty common we see those a lot in lego city and here's a look at the backs and what's really nice is that all three minifigures come with second faces and the paleontologist and the chemist come with back printing so maybe the astronomer saw an asteroid hurtling towards earth through her telescope so that's why she looks frightened and maybe someone touched the dinosaur skeleton so that may be why the paleontologist looks mad and maybe there was an explosion in the lab maybe two chemicals mixed that weren't supposed to so that's why the chemist looks shocked and here are all the extra pieces that you get in this set so as you can see we have some studs as well as a bone a little arm piece here so you got some useful pieces and we even have a lightsaber hilt there alright guys so that's gonna wrap up this review now I definitely recommend this set it's worth the $20 that it sells for no doubt about that and you even get some really cool parts such as the map of the constellations the parts used to build a telescope as well as the beakers in the chemist lab as well as some really nice minifigures so thank you guys so much for watching this review I hope you enjoyed please comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time